Hello, Bronzeburg. Today is Monday, September 15th. I'm Bilal Nazir. And I'm Cameron Hicks, and these are your BHS announcements. It is that time of the year again. Voting for Homecoming Court will be open starting this Monday, September 15th. You can vote using the Vote for School app. Your username and your password is your student ID number. Attention all freshmen. There is a float building meeting in Ms. Patterson's room, C119, at 3 o'clock on Thursday. I hope to see you there. The Interact Club will be meeting at 7 o'clock, not the usual time, this Wednesday morning because a speaker is coming in. All are welcome to attend this meeting in room C203. Attention all freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. Picture retakes days are scheduled for Thursday, September 18th. If you are unable to have your picture taken during registration or are choosing to have your picture taken, retaken, please stop by your team office and make an appointment. The varsity football team defeated Avon on Friday night, 27-7, after giving up an early touchdown. The dogs scored 27 unanswered points. On defense, Mike McCoy and Victor and Glima had interceptions, and Isaac McCormick recorded his first sack. For the offense, Hunter Johnson was 24 of 35, passing for 289 yards in the two touchdowns. One to Vincent Limson and one to Tyler Kurtz. Tokes Akarabadi finished with 101 yards and 24 carries, including 79 yards total, to put up the game away. This week, they play at Fishers. Good luck. Recently, Clint caught up with some students and faculty at BHS to see if they know how to yeet. Mr. Bodecker, do you know how to yeet? I do not know how to yeet. All right, do you want me to show you how? Sure, why not? How's that? Yeah. Manny, do you know how to eat? Yes, I do. Can you show us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Brayden, do you know how to eat? Of course. Show us. Yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. 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 Me? Okay. Those were some excellent moves. The JV football team was at Avon on Saturday. Carson Gill and Matt Copeland had great days running the ball, and Ryan Bigelow had an interception. In the end, the dogs were unable to stop a late comeback by Avon and fell 27 to 26. The girls' cross country team placed seventh out of 20 teams at the Ben Davis Invitational on Saturday. Julia Poppenfos, Cassidy Brown, Sydney Montgomery, Brooke Uren, Emily Trox, Laura Sanders, and Kirsten Uren all set their personal all time bests. In the reverse race, Brianna Chinin read the Bulldogs coming in 30th out of 200 runners. The boys varsity soccer team played host to 13th ranked Cathedral over the weekend. Once again, senior Garrett Eads stood up in the goal with another clean sheet. Unfortunately, the team was unable to convert the offense side to the ball in the game, and in the 0-0 zero zero tie, the boys' JV soccer team could not find the back of the net in their match either. Cathedral scored twice, resulting in a 2-0 loss for the Bulldogs. The boys' tennis teams were at the Zionsville Inventational over the weekend. In the morning, the team struggled against the top-ranked team in the state, Carmel. On the second round, the dogs took the tough Zionsville team and came up short. In the third round, the dogs fell to Floyd Central 4-1. Greg Fulling got a nice win to number two singles. The varsity will be back in action tonight and against Ben Davis. The freshman volleyball team won at Brebuff Invitational on Saturday coming back with the victories over Pike, Pendleton Heights, and Brebuff. Our 11 girls played an important role in the bringing home the trophy. Nice job, ladies. The boys cross country team was also at Ben Davis Invitational on Saturday, and despite missing three of their top seven runners, they still managed a sixth place finish out of 17 teams. Leading the pack was junior Hari Satamurai on a sixth overall. All seven of the Brownsburg varsity runners set personal records in the J JV race, Noah Grosset set, led the way with 18 minutes on the 5K run course. On Saturday, the girls' varsity golf team participated in the Franklin Central Invitational. Maddie Cody led the way with 83, followed by Emma Wilkins and Morgan Keir. The team finished 8th out of 15 and improved by 17 strokes. The final regular season match is this Thursday at North Central. That's all we've got for you today, Bronzeburg, and remember, 
Stay swaggy. And, and also, I have a shout out to my fifth period. Same here. See you, Mr. Jessup. What do you immediately think of when you hear Las Vegas? Neon. Few understand, however, how neon, or any other gas for that matter, is able to emit its trademark glow. Why don't we take a closer look at this neon sign? All of the lights! Baby